Hello, I'm just going to see a quick afternoon session, just a bit, bit of a break from the revision, um, just after tench. Fishing the method food today um, on the quiver tip. I'm just casting that near to some marginal reeds. It's actually quite bad conditions today, it's quite cold, and I think the tench won't respond very well to that, but oh well, we'll give it a go. It's just nice to be out on the bank, really. Anyway, I'll see you later. Right, let's take to the ground bait some using. Now, today for the tench, I'm going to be using this. It's a dynamite bait from some ground bait. I've got that in the Amino Original, in the natural variety. Can I open that up? And you can see I've got a corn ground bait bowl. Very good. I'm going to have too much because I'm fishing the method today. And when I fish the method, I don't like to use too much ground bait because I'm not really chucking it in. I'm just feeding it on the method. So that's the amount we're going to use in there. And then mix that around, let all the particles settle. And I'm not going to add anything to this, I'm not going to add any pellets or anything. Although I have got some of these micro pellets, I will feed around the swim a little bit. But I'm not going to add any pellets, so it's just going to use it as a ground bait. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some of this, which is lake water I collected a few minutes ago. A small amount of that. Mix it up. Now, as I'm using the Preston Method Feeder today, I'm not looking for a stodgy ground bait that we would have used on method feeders of old where we would have looked for really stodgy ground bait and moulded it round the method feeder to make a rock solid ball and when you cast it out it sounded like a bomb going in. I'm trying to make it quite a soft and fluffy ground bait so what happens is it sticks in the method feeder then when it hits the bottom it explodes off and forms a nice mix around the feeder. Now there we go, I'll say it's pretty much right now. As you can see there, it's starting to form slightly larger balls, but then if I compress it into a ball, it forms a lovely ball, and I can just break it down ever so easy. And that is the mix we're looking for. What I'm going to do now is add just a few bits of water with my fingertips, mix that in, and what that and what that's for is because I'm not quite set up yet, and um, I don't want the mix drying out while I'm setting up. So I've just put that in there just so it maintains its consistency, maintains its dampness, so it's all right for the rest of the session. Also, the good thing about this ground bait bowl, it's got a lid on it, which is really helpful so it doesn't dry out in this hot weather. Now, I am going to be trying something else today, both on the feeder and on the sleeper rod I'm using, and that's this. You might be able to see in there what I've got in there. I've got different types of swim stem pellets. I've got the natural and I've got the koi green. Got the micro pellets and I've got some six mil pellets in there as well. Um, and what I've done there is I've taken some of the swim stem natural glug from dynamite. I just poured it over there, left it, left them to soak for about a few days, and uh, they're lovely consistency. I can just about make them into a ball, as you can see there. And they're perfect consistency, not only for the method feeder, but for PVA bags. I've made up a couple here. You can see there. I'm going to be using that on my sleeper rod for the carp in a little bit's time and I put that out but the main hook baits I'm going to be using today are uh, good old fashioned sweet corn a bit of tension alive the way I eat sweet corn and maggot now I'm hoping I don't have to resort to maggot but if everything goes wrong you've always got the good old standby of maggot and that's pretty much it today I'm not fishing too complicated I'm just fishing a small method feed I'll take you through that later and you know you can't beat the sort of fishing coming out for an afternoon and just plugging away at some tench. Right, let's see if we can get anything. Right, let's take you through how to mould the method feeder. You need to press an extra large method feeder mould. That's the low one. I'm going to place my hook bait and my hook link in the mould. As you can see I've got a bit of corn. I'm going to add the swim stem ground bait that we made up earlier. Not too much, just enough. Right, so pat it down. Then take the pressing method feeder, extra large again, place it on top of the mould as you can see there. Then press down firmly and evenly on the mould so it's got a nice even coating. As you can see there's then a push button on the other side of the um, mould. Hold it upside down, press that and just remove the feeder. And there you go. There's a perfectly moulded method feeder. Now, let's see if we can catch a fish on it. Right, I'm just going to cast it nearish to those 
reselect them. He does be deadly accurate, but the accuracy can does help. Just there. And let the line sink quite deep there. There we go, perfect. Wind, nice gentle bend in the rod. Now, let's see if we can catch anything. Now, would you look at that? What a beautiful fish. Not my PB cruising, but two and a half pound, and look at that. What a contrast to those cruisers I was catching the other day. Just look at the colours on it. Such a dark, old fish. Just so much character. I've got to say, I'm absolutely chuffed to catch that. That's fantastic. And out of a water like this, where there really aren't many of them, you know, you can ask for more. Just come, coming down for an afternoon, a bit of break from revision, get greeted with that. What a beauty. Right. Let's put it. Right, that's going to be my final cast of the day. And although I've only had that one fish, that nice cruising, it's been a great day. I've really enjoyed myself. I've only been here for a few hours, and that's what it's all about. Coming down the lake, a couple of hours, in and out, and have a couple of nice fish. But yeah, very, very pleased with that. And um, considering the stocking density of them in here, which is incredibly low, I mean, I don't know of any coming out this year. I'm not sure if I even know of any coming out last year. So, considering that, I've done incredibly well to get that fish. And yeah, it's just been really great. We have a great fight on this new rod. So I've christened the rod now, and I couldn't pick a better fish to christen it with. What a great session. Anyway, all good things have to come to an end, and this is one of them. So I'll see you next time in tight lines. Now, let's get back to some revision.